Mr. Criminal, why reply? <sighs> okay, guys, so last night, Gunner and I went live, and there were a lot of people asking if I saw, if Gunner saw Mr. Criminal's reply. And I just remembered a few minutes ago that people had asked me that. People had also said, don't even bother. I went ahead and checked it out right now. And here I am. I don't have anything against Mr. Criminal. I don't know Mr. Criminal. I've never spoken to him in my life. I only know him through social media. Mr. Criminal had a podcast and Mr. Criminal talked down to people when he had that. Um, I remember when he told spider Loke, we can go to war, me and my people, this and that. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like that. Um, I remember when he told Ali Icon, if you're feeling some kind of way, that wasn't called for. So he conducted himself in a certain way as if he was above others in the past. And then, uh, I had been told, and this was February, in February, I had been told, kick back and get your popcorn because uh, Mr. Criminal is going to get exposed. Right after that, I was sent the, paper, the paperwork. I don't care about any of that stuff. Social media is not where people get exposed. This is the, this. And so I sat on it. Gunner had it too. We, we said, we ain't touching this. Homes. This is, this is somebody else's business. This is, you know, it'll be what it's going to be. And then other content creators got a hold of it and then they ran with it and they put it on social media. And so now we have Mr. Criminal coming out with a rap song called My Reply. And you, you put it out there, Mr. Criminal, and I'm a content creator and people are asking me about it. So I'm responding. I'm reacting. And I'm not going to show the video itself. But I am going to show a few pictures of the video. In the video, I see the subliminal when you're sitting at the chessboard and you're moving the pieces around and you're implying that you're playing chess, not checkers. I hear you. I see you. But your name is Mr. Criminal. And there's a whole lot of artillery in that video all around you. And if you were really a criminal, you wouldn't be allowed to have those weapons around you. Um, there are a lot of rappers who have had the same type of movie props around them and had to go to prison. So it, it isn't a good look for someone who's being accused of something to be surrounded by movie props that resemble weaponry that would get anybody from that world arrested get their house raided but you're comfortable you're at a gas station with a rifle in your hand you're in your home with handguns and rifles movie props i'm sure right and there's a lot of issues with that the one is that the fact that if you really were a criminal and you really were of that world and you really are from a neighborhood and you really have a history, you can't be around that stuff. The cops would come knocking. Secondly, it implies a threat to sit there with all these weapons. See, you don't got homeboys in the videos with you to hold those guns. You only got two hands, eh? 
So I don't uh I don't see why you would issue a threat like that. Okay. And thirdly, I did a lot of time with some very serious people that would see those weapons and want them immediately. Who are gonna feel like you ain't worthy to have to have those. Those belong to them. And you're inviting the devil to your doorstep, man. So when you have this the imagery of playing chess, not checkers, I don't know what you're playing, Holmes, but I don't know if you realize the devil that you're tempting. And you say that that it's all bogus. Basically, in your song, you're saying it's all bogus. None of it's true. None of it's verified and all that. And that's fine. You know, that happens. I read the paperwork. I read where you told the detective you were afraid. Um, and you, you said other things. But the proof is in the pudding as far as this. You had a podcast. You would invite people on. You were interviewing people. Now you go on live and you make beats. How come you don't invite people over? Why did you change your program? If none of it's legit, you don't change a damn thing. I don't know what's legit and what's not. You do. You know, it's like I tell people. When people try to bullshit me, I tell them, listen, you can say whatever you want, but in your heart, you know what's right. Just like in my heart, I know what's right. I know if I'm hearing bullshit or not. You can tell me all the shit in the world. If my mind is made up, it's made up. And you know the truth. You should go back to doing your podcast, inviting people on, speaking the way you used to speak. But see, something happened to where you couldn't invite people on. You couldn't speak down to people the way you were. And people notice. So from the comfort of wherever you were recording with all the movie props that you were using, that's one thing. I don't pass judgment on nobody. At least I try not to. I'm human. I could slip up. I don't know what your situation is, man. But in my heart of hearts, knowing how people think, knowing how some pretty serious people think, that video was a bad look. To insinuate a threat with movie props, to have those kind of props around you, when people are saying that you cooperated, they're going to say, well, damn, they sure did let him have that. I think the rapper, the, the, the most recent one that comes to mind was uh, Mr. Shady went back to prison. And you, people could say, well, he was on parole. It doesn't matter. Even if he wasn't on parole, he would have been waving guns around in a, in a video. Then somebody's going to come knocking. And I could be wrong. But it's the interpretation that people have. You're allowing people to interpret the video their way. And I promise you, when I tell you people see all them props, they're going to want those. You know, I remember back in the days when certain neighborhoods would find themselves in certain positions, they would have to give up weaponry. You're aware of that, right? So you're in a... You're in whatever situation you're in, whether you're going to say it is or it isn't. I don't know. It's not my business. I'm only going off of the things that you're putting out there. The things that are out there and the things that you're responding to allow me to respond. I think you should take that video down. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's been screen recorded. People are, are, are watching it. People are laughing at it. Your reply. Your reply opened up a whole nother can of worms. It did. I think it did. And you'll know before everyone else. And, and, and people will call you. Because the way that things are. No matter who dislikes you. There are still some that will like you. As long as you don't alienate them. 
And they're going to call you and they're going to let you know, hey, homes, fuck, hey. This is what people are saying right now. You know that. People have been doing that with you probably. You probably should have showed that video to a few people that still do talk to you. Not publicly. But that could have gave you an honest opinion on whether or not that was a good idea. And I'm sure they would have said, don't put this out. But you did. And it's a bad look. In my eyes, in my opinion, I'm just an old dinosaur, YouTube content creator. What do I know? But the way that social media is, and like they told me in February, get your popcorn. And a lot of people are grabbing their popcorn. You put out that video. You were fine doing your, your you're making beats on TikTok. You were getting your money guns. I need five money guns. I need whatever. I need a galaxy. I need five galaxies. You know, the things that you were asking for, you were getting. So you were making a little bit of money. You could have sold your beats. You could have, you could have went on, rolled off into the sunset, making feria. Instead, you, you're, you're, you're showing guns and saying you ain't scared and everybody's lying on you. So now people are going to respond however they respond. You don't poke a tiger, especially when you don't know the, na the, the face of the tiger. You might know a couple faces, but there's so many more that you don't know what they look like, how they sound, what they're capable of. I don't like poking tigers. I was in the cage with them. I know how they think. That's my video for today, man. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out of here.